Hey everybody, dgooden 24 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to NASCAR Thunder 2003 on the GameCube. This was my first next-gen NASCAR game. I had NASCAR 2001 2002 on the PS1 and I got this when I got my GameCube for Christmas and I have put so many hours into it. So let's get back into it. We're not going to do the career, maybe at some point in my YouTube channel, but not today. Today we are going to be getting into the lightning challenges. I don't know how many of these we're going to do, but we're just going to go through them, and we're going to have some fun. So let's go ahead and start out with the very first one with Dale Jr. Okay, guys, you knew this one was coming. In October of 2001, I won the first EA Sports 500 at Talladega. Talk about perfect, huh? The biggest gamer in racing wins the race sponsored by the biggest video game and computer game company in the world. Nice trophy, big check, and lots of free games. When the white flag flew, I was in the lead pack, but I wasn't in the lead. As we all came around on the final lap, I got my car out front just before a dozen or so cars got into each other behind me. Talk about a wild finish. Well, now it's your turn to try to become the EA Sports 500 champion. My buddies at EA Sports are going to reset the field just like it was when the white flag flew. You've got just one lap, and just like the real deal, you never know what's going to happen. Good luck. All right, so... We are uh, going to jump right into it. I never actually beat all of these. I think my biggest problem that I had whenever I played this game as a kid is I had the stability and the auto brake turned on. So I couldn't take advantage of the full speed, especially for the harder challenges. So, all right, here we go. I need to stop saying all right. But last lap. Oh, I forgot the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, go button is the A button. Let's toggle it to this. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll save, so. Okay. Let's try this again with the correct controls this time. I never really liked pressing a singular button to go, you know? I just, not great. Ooh. I gotta remember all the controls. We'll just we'll just do the chase cam. So now I've got to beat. I gotta win the race, and we're we're already. I mean, I don't know how the hell we're gonna do it. <laughs> All right, Jeff Green, come on. Well, nothing's gonna happen. All right, let's try it again. I can't let them get underneath me like that. I think I struggled with this one as a kid too. Oh, Matt. Perfect. We'll just stay in the draft here. No thanks, Jeff Green. Got to get a good run here on Jeff. We're going to take it. Oh, we've got a huge run. We're going to get under Tony, too. Hey, we're just going to fly by everybody. And there we go. Block Tony. And that should be it. We should just mirror drive to the line. And there we go. First challenge is done. Only took two tries. Not too bad. So, I wonder what thunder plate we're going to get first. Wow. Richard Petty in the Daytona Road Course. Not too bad. I always wanted to get like the all the Bush Series drivers. I just never uh never made it that far. I always struggled. I was like I said, I always had the assists on, so I was never Fast enough, so we'll go without saving for now. This right here is the most, one of the most iconic in meme spaces challenges. How would you like to see this happening in front of you? Well, in the 2002 Aaron's 499 at Talladega, I found myself coming off of turn two, the big one, happening right in front of me when it was all over, 24 cars were involved in the wreck. Thankfully, everyone was safe, and best of all, the number four Kodak Chevrolet made it through unscathed. So now it's your turn to face the big one. Same setup, you're coming off of turn two at race speed at Talladega. The wreck is gonna happen. To pass the challenge, you need to make it through without a scratch. Good luck. Yeah, but we can't go to the apron. We can't do anything, we gotta stay on the track, which is a bunch of crap. I understand that it makes it easier 
to do that, but you can go to the apron to avoid crashes. Okay. I remember I tried to play this the other day and it was it was difficult. See? See, you, you go barely onto the apron and it's left racing circus. It's a bunch of crap. Let's do the far chase cam. Oh my gosh. I would like to do this with, oh, okay. Well, that was lame. They didn't even wreck. It's like a NASCAR caution. Like, that's so lame. The wreck didn't even happen. They all kind of got loose and then saved it. We'll take it, though. And P10. That was easy. <clears throat> okay, we'll move on to the next one. Once we get our thunder plates. A wing. Awesome. Buzz Motor Speedway. Now that's a track I love to race at. I've won the May race there twice in the past three seasons. Just a dominant performance. Now wait a minute there, Jeff. I've won the fall race at Charlotte three times in my Winston Cup career and even have two poles to boot. That's domination. Hey, Mark, this is supposed to be my video. I know you're my teammate and everything, but... But, Jeff, I can't let you take credit for being the best at Lowe's. That guy there knows it's not true. Mark, two out of the last three Coca-Cola 600s, I own that race. You might own that race, Jeff, but I have more wins at Lowe's than you do. Okay, Mark, I'll tell you what. Since you decided to jump in the middle of my video, how about we ask our friends from EA Sports to help us settle this one on the track? Sure, I'm in. All right, just two laps, you and me at Lowe's. Day or night? Well, I prefer the night race. That's fine, but you got to give me a few minutes to practice. No problem. Here's the controller. You go out and run a few practice laps. That was so lame. <laughs> I I even thought that was pretty lame as a kid, if we're being real. <clears throat> they didn't even find like an actual, an actual like moment. They just put them head to head. Like I guess Jeff Burton and and Mark had pretty forgettable 20, 2001 seasons. I don't know. That was just that was pretty lame. Alright, let's see if we can take take Mark here and Oh, I've got stability and break on. That's not that's not what I want. Let's turn that off. We'll leave the passing indicators on. And let's put the leaderboard on too. Yep, we'll save it. Sorry, you gotta sit through that. <clears throat> okay, now this should be better. Oh, as we go straight into the wall. I should have waited. It's weird seeing seeing Charlotte without the the big TV on the back. Like, I'll always think of it as Lowe's, but... Alright, we're gonna have to restart. <clears throat> gonna have to try it again. Alright, Mark. I think... I think... I don't know. I'm sure I've beat this one as a kid. It's weird seeing all these tracks without safer barriers, too. Very loose. Oh, in the fence, but it's gonna work because the walls are like Ross Chastain and you can just bounce off them at ease. We're side by side with one to go, but we're gonna clear him. And it should hopefully be home sailing from here, but yeah, I know the rubber banding is also pretty bad here, but no, we're gonna we're going to gap him. And just one more corner and we'll take it home. Uh-oh. Up the track, into the fence. Side by side to the line. Let's... Oh! <laughs> Glad I didn't get like a failed challenge for... For contact or something, that would have been bad. Okay. Wow. All pro. Wow, we got a new sponsor. I just want the drivers. I don't want... I don't care about these sponsors. We're not going to play this game career mode for quite some time. 
I just have to make sure I keep all this stuff saved. The only thing in the 2001 Carolina Dodge Dealers 400 at Darlington, I drove the number 88 UPS Ford into Victory Lane. UPS had an ad campaign all year saying that they wanted to race the truck. Well, I'll tell you, I was glad I was racing the number 88 Ford Winston Cup car that day. It was awesome, and so was our pit crew. With 15 laps to go, the yellow flag flew, and the leaders all came in to pit. Steve Park was in the lead, I was in second. I got out of the pits ahead of Steve and held on for the win. I've been asked what I thought might have happened if that caution never came out on lap 278. Now we get a chance to find out. I'm going to give you the wheel of the number 88 UPS Ford. You've got five laps to go at Darlington. The pit stop on lap 278 never happened because the yellow flag never happened. You and Steve Park are both running on old rubber, but you've been slowly reeling him in. Your goal is to drive my car to the checkered flag this time without the help of my pit crew. Let's go win this thing again. All right, so a pretty basic challenge. Just got to run down Steve Park in five laps. The thing is, uh, I don't think I've ran Darlington without the assists on, so that'll be fun. But we'll see what happens here. Okay, come on. Okay, he's way ahead of us. I bet, I bet he's probably pretty slow, though. Okay, we're going to slow down more. <laughs> We gotta slow down more for that corner. Okay, we're just gonna keep riding the wall. Look at what we gained on there just from riding the wall. We got our Darlington stripe very quickly. Dale didn't put a, a mark on this car all day. And my very first corner, I tear up the right side. Woo, we are loose. Oh my gosh, we tearing it up, but like I said, we're still catching them. Four to go. Eight tenths of a second back. Oh, we are right there. That was a good corner. Oh, don't leave the racing service. I'm sure they'd get mad at me for that. All right. We're around them, and we got three laps to spare. Ugh. Rubber banding is real. Rubber banding is real. Okay. That's fine. Make it a little bit more exciting. Oh, get the run on the outside. Oh, a little contact. Didn't want to do it that way, but that's fine. Oh, oh, come on. It's my own fault. Now I'm just mad I got to do five more laps. That's the whole problem. I know we'll be fine. As I did it right again. We didn't get as much damage this time, though. All right, 1.2 seconds back. I bet we can get close if I can stay out of the wall here by the end of this lap. Good run. Whoa! Okay, I didn't think we would pass him by the end of this lap, but here we are. This is gonna be one of them classic Darlington finishes here. Don't want to put it in the wall, so we're just gonna ride. Crossover. Are we there? Uh oh. I, I realized the slide job was probably not the best idea at Darlington. I need to be easy. I don't need to do this one again as we got three to go. Uh. There we go. Uh oh. 
I had to hit the brakes. I was going to put it in the wall again. Oh, he's looking. Ah, oh, a little donut on the door. Ain't going to do nothing. I'm telling you, the rubber banding is real. I caught him in one point. I caught 1.2 seconds in one lap. One well, less than a lap, and he's back. He gets back around me every time I pass him. All right, last lap. Let's just be nice and easy here. We should keep it out of the wall. We were a little loose. We'll block. Block again. Uh-oh. It's all right. We hit it just perfect. Okay, that's this challenge done. Goodness gracious. I was afraid we were going to knock the right side off it coming to the, coming to the checkers. We'll take it. Hey, Jamie McMurray and Jeff Purvis. That's what I wanted, some bush cars. Okay, let's break up the monotony. Let's do some harder challenges. Let's do... Let's do the Johnny Bench the Benson one. The Valvoline team won the Winston Open in 2001. But to do it, we had to fight off newcomer Ryan Newman. Ryan qualified second for the Open, and when the green flag flew, it sure looked like he'd be the car to beat. But with two laps to go, he blew an engine, and we took the checkered. The cool thing about video games is we get to control when things happen, like blown engines. So here's what we're gonna do. Ryan Newman's out front, and you're behind the wheel of Valvoline Pontiac number 10. Only this time, Ryan engine's not gonna blow, and you gotta get him and reel him in and win the race in two laps. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna talk to the EA Sports guys and see how they do that blown engine trick. Hey guys, wanna come work for us? Why would they? Why would they want the blown engine trick though? Like, are they gonna? Why would they need to work for you if they if they know a blown engine? Oh, to keep it from blowing. I guess that's correct. I I guess. I know, Johnny, they're two completely different things. One's a video game, and one's a one's a, a real race car. That's a little bit different. I remember I could never beat this one. Never. Be, I could never get close. Because of the uh, the assists, so hopefully we can we can do this. I, I managed to do this do this one the other day when I went and tested this game. I wanted to see if this was a good idea. I know some other people have done it, but I just wanted to add some more content to the channel. Little 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 deep, little deep. Just barely grazed the wall. I don't think we're going to get there. I think we're going to have to start again. I, I screwed up that first corner right when we started. Heck, I screwed it up again. Okay, we'll see how much time we have. He's a second ahead of us. Go up the track a little bit. If I could just get a sniff of draft off of him. Just a sniff. Oh yeah, we've definitely gained on him. We're about to get some draft off him. So we're coming to the white flag. We're going to cut the dog leg a little bit. Oh yeah, we gained seven tenths of a second. Get to his outside. Okay, we're full throttle now. Back to the gas. Oh, I don't want to move him. I'd like to get clear of him and then just... Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Gosh dang it. 
That should have been it. I just blew three and four there. Just completely blew the corner. Okay, just let me restart. Gosh darn it. Oh no. Oh that, that was that was a that was a big one right there. I don't think it hurt us too much just because EA's wall physics. Oh my. Just, I'm driving it really hard. Well, we're definitely not as close as we were last time. There we go. We're going to keep her on the bottom this time. I was going to say good corner, but we grazed the wall. Okay. Woo, we still we gained half a second, but we're going to it's going to be like we're gonna catch him in the last corner. Well, no, we're gonna get to him right here. We're gonna get to his inside. Hopefully not clear him before the corner so we can kind of run him up the track a little bit if we have to. There we go. All right, now we should have it. And we'll just block to the line. Okay, there we go. The hardest challenge in the, in the lightning challenge we have done. It took what three or four tries though, so not not too terribly easy. Look at that sideways! Holy cow! We got the Benny Parsons car and Shane Hall. See, that's what we want. We want the paint schemes. We don't we don't care about the paint booth or sponsors or I mean I guess the the, the fantasy tracks are okay. Okay, what should we do next? Well, the action's been real exciting all Let's day. Let's do Kurt Busch. Challenge, Elliot Sadler told you how he won the 2001 Food City 500. Well, in 2002, I won the Food City 500 at Bristol. My first Winston Cup win ever. And I'll tell you what, we learned a trick or two from Elliot last year that helped us get the win. Like Elliot, in 2001, the number 97 Rubbermaid team decided to go for it at the end with an old set of tires, 157 laps old by the end of the race. I had to fight off Jimmy Spencer, Ricky Rudd, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. to get the win. So now you get to go for the win in the 2002 Food City 500. Me and my friends at EA Sports are going to give you five laps. Your tires are pretty worn. Jimmy Spencer just got by you. So now Ricky Rudd's behind you. So is Dale Earnhardt Jr. You got five laps to go, and your challenge is to get the win. Good luck. That seemed a little rough there for Kurt. Kurt was not as well uh, well trained in in media and talking as he was. He looked very, very, very young and very nervous there. It's kind of a weird thing. It was really just him and Jimmy Spencer, wasn't it? Like, I don't I don't think he, I don't know. I know it was just Jimmy Spencer he went after, clearly, as that's who we're about to go move out of the way. Boy, that, that set up a whole, uh, a whole thing with those two after the fact. So we're already Jimmy's bumper. We're going to try to do this relatively clean. Oh, oh. Get under oh yeah, not 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 as clean as I was wanting. Oh no. Alright, well we gotta pass him again. Okay, we're doing this the way it actually happened. We're we're being a little aggressive with him. Oh. I had to scratch my nose. <laughs> we got three to go. Oh gosh, we're gonna go back into the wall. I don't want to blow my engine. We just can't get clear of him. I think we should here. Yes. Oh, a little, little too deep. All right, back inside. Oh goodness. All right. We're gonna have to probably bump and run him, it looks like. Oh, it's very tight. A little bump, little nudge. Oh yeah, he's not gonna like that one bit, but we got it. Front fender flailing and everything. Oh, he's pissed. Jimmy's pissed, he's gonna come beat our ass on the pits. I guess in victory lane, not the pits. As another just basic thunder plate. Fantastic. 
On a sunny October Monday, I got my first Winston Cup Series win at the 2001 Old Dominion 500 at Martinsville. What a day. The race was postponed from Sunday due to rain, and on Monday, everybody was treated to a nice sunny day and some typical Martinsville action. I was running third with less than 20 laps to go when the two leaders got together. Bobby Hamilton ended up in the wall after he and Kevin Harvick bumped. That took enough off of Harvick for me to dive to the bottom and take the lead as the yellow came up. But it wasn't over yet. By the final lap, I had Dale Jarrett all over me. We were bouncing off of each other all around that final lap, but at the line, I edged Jarrett by inches for the win. What a day. Now it's your turn. You're going to start side by side with Dale Jarrett and experience the final lap of the 2001 Old Dominion 500. And remember, nobody cares how banged up your car is in the winter circle, as long as you're in the winter circle. Okay, so Ricky Craven's first win at Martinsville, where Jarrett treated him pretty respectfully. Tried to pass him on the outside, didn't try to move him out of the way. I remember that. It was on a Monday, obviously, and uh, my mom recorded it on VHS while I was at school. Missed that. Good good times. So, all right, Jarrett's already to her outside. So, now he's going to get to my inside. Oh, no, Bobby Labonte is. They kept Bobby Labonte too close. Now I don't even have to worry about Jarrett. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I clearly don't know how to drive this trek just yet. Oh, we sent it. It's going to be a photo finish with Ward Burton, not Dale Jarrett. Well, that was easy. Super easy. I just, we overdrove the corner every time, so. Okay. Goodyear sponsorship. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next one. I wonder what we, what should we do next? In April, I won the Talladega 500 by Carly for my fourth career Winston Cup win and Andy Petrie's first win as a team owner. We come back to Talladega in October for the EA Sports 500 on a mission for a repeat. We come down to three laps to go. It's myself, Dale Jr., and Bobby Labonte. We're racing real hard at the start-finish line. Needless to say, we got 30 other people chasing us. Dale Jr.'s had enough. White flag falls. He hits Bobby Labonte, knocks him out of the way. He goes on. That gives me a chance to make a run on both of them. We go into turn one. I get on the outside of Bobby Labonte. He has no part of that. He carries me to the wall. We both touch the wall. I turn left, cut up under him. He turns left to block me. I hit Bobby Labonte. He flips over. Debris everywhere. Cars are turning and hitting the wall everywhere. Other cars are up in there. I'm racing hard to get back to Dale Jr. Next thing I know, I'm racing for fifth place. I passed Jeff Gordon for fifth place right at the start-finish line. When I left there that day, I wondered what could have happened if I had a chance to win that race if me and Bobby Labonte hadn't touched. Well, today, you and I finally get to prove this out. I think I could have won that race, and the folks at EA Sports are going to give you and me three laps to prove it. You're in third place in a pack with Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Jeff Burton. Three to go in the EA Sports 500. Anything can happen. Let's make it a win and get the repeat at Talladega. So that was pretty... Uh, uh, Bobby Bobby's a, wasn't a great speaker. Uh, he really went into detail explaining that, uh, that wreck. <laughs> the, um, the bloopers for... Uh, for this game. They don't have them on the GameCube version, but on the PS2 they have them. They're pretty funny. He swears a lot. So I think that was the best cut they had. All right, we've got three to go as we're right. We're going to go right to the lead right off the bat. So can this challenge be over now? I got the lead. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, we're just mirror blocking at this point. These old EA games, you can tell, I mean, they're, they're just kind of running a normal line. They're not really running to try to pass you. I mean, they are, but, I mean, I guess as Dale goes to the bottom, it's just, they don't run the bottom the whole way around. They got to slide up to the top down the back stretch. I mean, I, I shouldn't complain about old EA AI, especially when this is one of the better ones. Let Bobby get under me. That's fine. I'll go to the wall. Whoa. Okay, we're going to have a lap. If I just cost myself this by just kind of being nonchalant about it, I'm going to be mad, but 
It is what it is. We'll just try to get a good draft and get both of them down the back stretch. Oh, Dale's going to go high, so that's going to give me the opportunity to get around him. Now we need to try to get a run on Bobby. All right, good run. We'll take it all the way to the bottom. And there we go. It's as easy as that. So they're going to line up down on the bottom, but they're going to have to do something else if they want to get around me. Some light mirror driving. And we should have this come into the line. Okay. Nice and easy. We'll do one more challenge, and then we'll save the rest for next time. I think this video's been about long enough, but we'll do one more. Wow. Tiburon. Oh, my goodness. Mike McLaughlin. Look at that. That's two good Thunder Plates right there. Like, that's, that's excellent. Tiburon was such a fun track. I remember being like, what is this? Is this real? I mean, I was just an ignorant... Oh, was I eight years old? Okay, we'll save the Wreck Avoidance for next time. Uh... Oh, man. All right, let's do it. This one hurts my heart. You know how frustrating and inconvenient it is to run out of gas on the side of the road? Well, you ought to try it in a Winston Cup race. In 2000, I won the Napa 500 in Atlanta. In 2001, with 19 laps to go, I took the lead from Bobby Levani. Thanks for reminding me. And I built a nice lead, but heading into turn three on the final lap, I ran out of gas and just didn't have enough momentum to make it two in a row. And even though Jerry here had the best car all day, I got the win. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Hey, I did say I felt bad after the race, though. Well, I really wanted that one back. So here's your chance. You've got four laps to go in the Napa 500, and I'll tell you right now, you'll run out of gas by the end of the race. And I'll pass you again. I don't think so. No, Bobby, if you play it right, you can still get the win. Maximizing your fuel is a huge deal in Winston Cup racing. And in 2001, Napa 500 is a classic example. All right, Jerry. Let's you and me get it on right here. No, Bobby, this time you're going to have to race this dude right here. Oh, well, I think I could still win. Good luck. See that? Jerry and Bobby are going to get it on right here. <laughs> Oh, geez. All right. Well, I think we're just going to have to save, 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 and probably be a little aggressive with some contact. There's no way we can extend our lead enough, surely. We're just going to coast all the way through. Well, not all the way. So how big of a lead do we have? I'm just going to tap the gas button down the straightaway. We have over a two-second lead, Jerry. Why could you have not just saved a little gas? You had the lead, uh, such a huge lead. Uh, my heart. I bawled that day. I bawled when this happened. I was so upset. That Bobby's already to our back bumper. Point nine left. Three to go. How are we going to save this much gas? Look at this. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do this. Oh, gosh. Well, that's going to help. Point seven. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to put Sterling in the wall. I didn't really... Give me too much. Point six. Ugh. Imagine if he did this in real life. Just kind of slowed everybody down and just started putting everybody in the wall. Point five. Oh my goodness. Oh. Bobby and Ward, we got they're coming at me from everywhere. We got point three left with one to go. Uh point two. Uh oh. I let him get ahead of me. 
Point one. We're, oh my gosh, we're not gonna get it. All right, we're gonna have to try it again. I don't know. I I thought I saved a lot of gas. This was another tough one for me as a kid. So one point two. We're just going to keep it as short distance around as we can. We're just going to have to move everybody out of the way. I mean, that's pretty much how it is. Get them lined up behind me. We used what? Ugh, we used a lot there, I felt like. Oh, hold on. i got to scratch my head. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, that, I don't think we're going to win the challenge now. This, see, this, is a, this is the hard one. I think this is like the hardest one in the game. We're just going to roll. Just let it roll all the way through. Now we'll get back in the gas. Slow the whole field down. Oh my gosh, they're all going to be here. <laughs> Go ahead and move him up. Oh, Sterling's going to get around us. That's not good. Get Ward out of the way. Sterling's gone. I'm gonna run out of gas too if I, you know, push this hard. Oh. Ah, my gosh, this sucks. I mean, even if I if I were to run hard the whole time, I would run out of gas on like the white flag lap. Would I not? It just feels like they made it a little bit harder than necessary. I'm just try. I'm trying everything at this point. He was like on and off the gas down the straightaway. So Bobby's gonna look high. Move him up the track. Here comes Sterling. Get him all out of shape. Like I just if someone gets to my outside and gets around me, I'm toast. Whoop. Got a big lead on these guys. I just need to get Bobby out of shape again. There we go. You're clear. All right, here they come. Go to the outside. Oh, I don't need them side by side. I need to slow down the pack. That's good. That's a good start. Okay. Him out of the way. Oh my gosh. Well. 
Oh, we're out of gas. We're out of gas. No! <laughs> no! God dang it! <sighs> I don't know what else to do there. I've, you've got to be aggressive with them. There's no, like, there's no way you can. There's no way. We're just going to coast through the whole corner. Okay. Like, literally, I'm just going to have to wreck them. Jerry had way more fuel than this. Alright, come on, Bobby. Just pass me if you want to get around me. Oh! <laughs> Sterling up the track. Oh, look, it's... It's Kevin and Jeff, just like uh, the spring race. There's Sterling for a little bit. Now Jeff, my teammate. Harvick up the track. Jeff down the track. Uh-oh. Well, shoot, now we're going to have to restart again. Gosh darn it, I can't let anybody get by me because I'm not going to catch him again. I'm just going to roll through the corner. Nice and easy. Barely rolling through here, too. Bobby's going to catch... I mean, the whole pack's going to catch me by the middle of this corner. Here comes Kevin. Oh, my... All right. This is how I used to win all my races on this game. Oh, Harvick, hard in the wall. Just all mirror driving. Yeah, I'm aware. All right, here comes Junior. Run him up the track a little bit. Now Harvick's back. So is Ward. Need to get this field more spread out. Oh, gosh darn it. I didn't even see him up there. For Pete's sake, this is unbelievable. It's fitting that they're making one of the most traumatic parts of my childhood. I have to do this over and over again. The other one was at Sonoma when he freaking blew a rear gear with two to go. Okay, just rolling. Here comes Harvick. Let them get to my outside, that's fine. We were going 124 miles an hour. Imagine if someone was doing this on track. All right, Harvick's back. Oh, here comes Jeff on the outside. A million miles an hour, gonna run right to the back of me.
I'll be lucky if if this car makes it to the end. All right, here they all come again. Gotta protect. Here comes Ward. Harvick down low. Slow that line up. Oh my gosh, we are so torn up. I, I may freaking blow the car up. Okay, well, Sterling's gonna be out of the picture. Are we gonna make it? Right, Jeff Green up the track. We got a little loose. Look, we've been go. Oh no! 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like, what am I going to do here? Oh, we've already blown it. We've already blew it. We've already blown it. <sighs> and easy. Alright, here comes the field. Harvick's going to be coming hard on the outside. God. Oh, no, 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 no. I should have... Unbelievable. All right, let's just see what happens if I run hard to the end. I'm very curious. You're running on fumes, buddy. Because they, they said it was possible, maybe, like they implied that it was possible to be so far ahead it didn't matter. But I disagree. There's no way. There's no way. Because they're catching me anyway, and I'm already like at point seven. Yeah, that, it's not gonna work. There's no way. There's no way. What? Like I just. Uh, the only way to do this is to drive like an asshole. Here they come. The 18 car is gaining on you. comes Ward. Uh-oh. Reckless trip. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> we'll give this just a couple more tries because I don't know what else to do. Put 
Bobby in the wall. Oh, oh no, oh come on! Come on! You're running on fumes, buddy. That's some bull. That was an excellent, excellent chop block with my, my rear bumper. It's not my fault Sterling Marlin flew into the catch fence. I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like I could pit, but I, it would. It wouldn't let me do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, last try. Last try. We're gonna end the video, whether I make this or not, on this try. Here comes Bobby. Make sure he doesn't pass me up top. All right. Harvick's looking top. Run him up. Keep him down. I've used more gas in this corner than I wanted to. Save some more gas. Here comes Harvick. We're going to block him. Sterling's going to block Labani. I'm going to block Harvick. All right. Get back ahead of Harvick there. No!